from Hagen Arena on the campus of St. Joseph's University in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's time for World Team Tennis Play. Hello, everybody. I'm Derek Jones alongside semifinalist from Wilmington and professional tennis player Alexandra Stevenson as we bring you the Vegas Rollers against the Philadelphia Freedoms in what should be an exciting afternoon of tennis. And certainly these two teams, when you take a look at the standings, going in at the moment opposite directions, Philadelphia has played well over the last couple of nights here. They are now 2-1 and one on the season. Meanwhile, Las Vegas, the Vegas Rollers at 1-2, and two, struggling as of late, coming off of a loss to the New York Empire yesterday. And clearly they will look to rebound here against the Freedoms and a very challenging set of matches here this afternoon that will include some key things. And Alexandra, what stands out to you about the order of play here this afternoon? I think that they're doing the mix in women's doubles first is a good sign, I think, for both teams because all those players can play doubles and mix. And then they're putting their singles in last so that they can probably run away with it. At least it looks like Philadelphia wants to run away with it with Taylor, who's been an anchor. We will see some powerful play and some powerful serves here as a part of a world team tennis matchup play in just a few moments. The format, eight teams, 14 regular season games apiece. The top four teams make the playoffs with the semifinals and the finals taking place in Las Vegas on August 2nd and 3rd. The format, two, team, or two women and two men and a coach for each team, five sets, singles, doubles, and mixed. The sets are to five games, including nine-point tiebreakers if it's tied at four games each. And the home team coach selects order of play. And then lastly, no ad scoring, cumulative scoring as we go along. Substitutions are in play, lets are in play as well, and on-court coaching is allowed. And we are closing in on the start of action here from Hagen Arena on St. Joseph's University's campus. We will have more in just a moment from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and World Team Tennis Play. Geico has over 75 years of savings and service. Whoa. Travis and IT made it. It's amazing. Geico oh, is, is that Travis's app? It's pretty cool, service. isn't it? There's two of them. They're multiplying. Geico has over no. 75 years oh, Guys, it's me. Savings and See? Service. No, I'm real. I'm real. He thinks he's real. <laughs> Geico. Over 75 years of savings and service. What are you doing? I'm going to be a pro tennis player. I thought you were going to get things done today. I did. I had a consultation with my doctor this morning, and I set up a meeting with my lawyer by my Wimbledon application. How could you afford a lawyer? It's included on my phone. My Rocket IO Pro 3D comes with legal services, 24-7 doctor, glasses free 3D, and it's less than $300. You saving some money. Now you can start paying rent. Wait, what? Get the Rocket IO Pro 3D for less than $300. Rocket smarter phones. How do you rock the world of tennis? Burn the rule book. Change the game. Make it faster. No, way faster. Pair up the sexes. Call in the coaches. Fist bump this badass. Playing teams. And don't forget the pros. Lots of pros. This is the Freedoms. This is WTT, July 2019. Tennis is brought to you by Wilson. Get the best gear in the game by Deco Turf, official tennis court surface of World Team Tennis, and by Body Armor, the more natural and better hydration sports drink. 
And we are underway here in mixed doubles play. Fabrice Martin and Raquel Atawo out there for the Freedoms. High lob off of one of the banners. Scoreboard got in the way right there. You have not only the scoreboard, but the banners in this building as a part of it, too. And that ball glancing off of one of those banners, 15 love. Oh, Asia Muhammad could not get that one over the net. Great try, but Alexandra not able to get enough lift on that one. Yeah, it was a good idea, though. Asia was right up there for the poach. She just kind of just didn't hit through that volley enough, but good plan, and you're going to see a lot of poaches tonight. Meanwhile, Atawa suffers a similar fate on that return. Matt Reed out there with Asia Muhammad, and those two looking to combat Alexandra, a tough duo in Atawa and Fabrice Martin. Yes, Atawa and Fabrice Martin are tough, but Asia Muhammad and Matt Reed are also doubles players. They've had a lot of success in doubles, so you're going to see a lot of good volleying, a lot of poaches, and you're going to see more doubles specialty out here tonight. Too long for Muhammad. One of the keys here for the Freedoms over the last couple of nights has been strong starts. They've really controlled the play in mixed doubles, in women's doubles as well as they lead here 40-15 to 15 in the opening game. And Alexandra, that momentum, they've been able to ride that through pretty much the whole contest the last two nights. Yeah, their they're home court. You know, it's like in basketball. When you play at home, you have an edge. Well, the Phil Philadelphia Freedoms definitely have an edge. These three days in a row, three nights, two nights, three, one day, sorry, it's daytime here, um, has gotten them to feel at home, and they're playing well on their home turf. Lots of story behind this Vegas team, including Red Fu, who is an assistant coach. We will talk to you plenty about Red Fu as this broadcast continues as he's one of the assistant coaches and if you know that name that's a name typically associated with music but he's here in a tennis capacity because he loves the game of tennis he loves the game of tennis he's been playing since he was a young boy his dad Barry Gordy had a gr has a great court at his house so he grew up playing tennis and he loves Las Vegas so it's a great combination Tower goes a little bit long with that one. The tower has been a force here for Philadelphia over the last two nights here at Hagen Arena. Oh, quickly. Reed blasting that one by Fabrice Martin. Try to get the fans here involved. It's a day game, so lots of kids out today in particular. It's great to see all the kids out. Hopefully they all play tennis. And they'll, be, they'll bring excitement. And I think if Red Foo starts dancing, the kids are going to have a dance party changeover. I, I'm sure there will be plenty of dancing as this one progresses. Reed will try not to double fault here. And Martin into the net, and that grants the game to the Rollers. One apiece now in mixed doubles play. And now we got the ladies serving. So the men held their serve, now it's up to the ladies. A towel will go first. And that one swept wide by Reed.
First time for Reed playing with the Vegas Rollers. As he tries to lead his unit to victory in this first set. Oh, nicely done. Nice shot. Yes, Matt Reed's from Australia. He's from Sydney, his favorite city in the world. I mean, can't go wrong with Sydney. And he plays a lot of doubles on tour. He seems very comfortable out there. Granted, it's extremely early on, but he doesn't have that fish out of water look to him. No, and I think he's going to play the mixed and the doubles, uh, the men's doubles. That one just a little wide. And one of the neat things, as we see to the far left, children walking in and many of them carrying tennis rackets it's with great. them. Yeah, maybe they'll do some shadow, shadow swings in the changeover, get warmed up. And Mohammed, the first ever pick for the Vegas Rollers, going a little bit too long, trying to drop that one in. Yeah, Asia Mohammed is from Las Vegas, so it's her hometown. So it's got to be great to be playing at home when you don't have, really have tournaments in Vegas on the tour during the year. So she said she loves playing at her hometown court. Forty to fifteen. The margin here for the freedoms in this game. Nice poach. Reed. Oh. Almost a good counter there by a towel, but Reed gets the better of it to stay alive in the game. 40 to 30. Martin in a towel going over particulars. Nice return. Muhammad evens it up. Deuce, 40-40. Deciding point. Great rally here by the Rollers. And that goes into the net, and that results in a game win for the Rollers. They lead it 2-1 to one now after coming back from falling behind early. And, Alexandra, that has to be a boost for them. Oh, for sure. That was an awfully tight serve by Ottawa. And I think because Asia's been pressing, pressing her on her returns. So Vegas is starting out strong. So Mohammed will get her opportunity to serve. Now a towel with a beautiful return there. That was a good poach volley right there. She was right on top of that net. You have got to have the quickest of reflexes playing that close to the net. Mohammed gets beat down the line by a tower. And that results in Love 30. It's Philadelphia trying to even this up at two apiece. They have rarely trailed in the games over Monday and Tuesday. But trailing in this opening set. Good return. Reed right into the net. And now break point. It's also a quick turnaround for both teams. They both played last night, finished at 10.30.
had to come out here at 10.30 a.m. and warm up and get ready to play at 1. And you're also playing indoors, so you're not seeing the sun. Nice serve down the tee. Muhammad. First ace. Yes, staying in focus there for Vegas. And Vegas coming in after the loss to New York. So not a long trip, but travel nonetheless. Still travel. At and night. I, and I think they lost by two games, so it was a tough, tough match. Muhammad will get another opportunity. And Reed can't quite get enough over the net there. And we are even at two as we go to break. More action on the way. Mixed double styles in World Team Tennis from Hagen Arena. Watch me go. Because I won't come back the same. Sometimes I'll come back with scratches and scrapes. Or with stories of great shots and close shaves. Of wins for the history books. And of losses I'll never forget. But watch me smile. Say good game. And put my racket away for now, but not for good. Because I'll have seen what I can do. And I know greatness, greatness. greatness is waiting. Sign up with Net Generation, official youth tennis of the USTA. They're doing the baby shark dance here at Hagen Arena. Derek Jones and professional tennis player Alexandra Stevenson with you this afternoon. Baby shark time for the kids. Yeah, baby shark time. We got our dance party changeover. Martin will tee it up. Nice wide serve there. Martin one of the taller players in the league, and we will also see another one in Riley Opelka later on. Yes, Riley Opelka is the tallest player along with Eva Karlovic at six foot 11. Martin just in. 30 love. Ooh. And Reed can't get that one over the net, playing back. And the lift was not there. 40 love in favor of the Freedoms. Yeah, you notice against Martin and Adewale, they're playing back a lot because Martin has such a big serve. It's a smart play. It's giving him a chance to get into the point. Now he'll move up on a second serve. Oh, nice Backhand. ball. Backhand. Wonderfully done by Martin. Yeah, he had some extra slice on that second serve. It was hard for Muhammad to return that one. Light as a feather on the volley. And it's a 3-2 lead for the Freedoms. And Martin can't get that one to stay in. Reed gets the advantage early on. Yeah, it's still, you know, the for the players, sometimes it's hard to remember to play the let serves. 
I talked to Riley Opelka and he said he's still getting used to all the rules of World Team Tennis. Oh, Natal and Martin, I think, were there at the same time. Some miscommunication, Alexandra. Yeah, a little bit of a mixed doubles miscommunication. They both wanted the shot. 30 love. Oh. Reed kind of reloaded, and that may have hurt him a little bit. Yeah, we got the first 130 of the night, and I think he was like, oh, that's a great serve, and he forgot to move. As that ball floated over, he just had to reset himself to get in position, and that took him off kilter. But he gets it back there. 40 to 15 in this game in favor of the Rollers. That was a missile, 139. Oh, and Martin saw that one sail, and the game goes to the Rollers. We're tied once again at three. Yep, everybody's holding their serve. They're all warmed up and ready to go, and they don't want to let a service game, they don't want to get broken here. So three all in the opening set. We'll go to women's doubles following this one. Town will stay on with Taylor Townsend to take on Muhammad and Dart. Love 15 after the double fault by a towel. We will get a timeout called by Craig Carton in Philadelphia. Alexandra, some early thoughts here. Tight game. Tight game, Atau's had two double faults now on her serve. And you know, in mixed doubles, the female serves usually the first one to get broken. So Craig is going out there and giving them a tight game plan to make sure they do not get broken. Atau will serve. And try to regain some of the momentum here lost. Nice. Oh, Muhammad could not get to that one. Great shot by a towel. Yeah, that was a good coach tactic to just serve it body, get into the net, and volley. You know, get your first serve in. Oh, Reed, a blistering return in play. Yeah, he ripped that right down the line. Fabrice Martin had no play on it. Fifteen thirty. The Freedoms trying to continue their success from the last two nights, especially when starting out. <sighs> Muhammad wide. I'm not sure if she was trying to angle that one maybe in between the two, but instead it went well yeah, wide of the I line. Th I think it was a good kick out wide, and the only play she had was to go line because she saw Martin might move a little bit, and she just mistimed it. 30 all. Long from Reed. Another body serve. Don't give him a lot of pace. Make him hit the return. That's a good play. They're playing it safe. And now, Philly with an opportunity to grab the game. There we go again. Body serve. Yep. And that one unable for 
Muhammad to get to as Muhammad just all she can do is bat that one out of play. And that gives the game to the Freedoms. 4-3 lead now for Philly. Yes, that was a good coaching play by Craig Carden. Body serves all day long. Make them volley, make them more comfortable, and make Ottawa comfortable by getting her first serve in. Muhammad gets a shot to serve. Reed almost handcuffed and was handcuffed eventually by the Freedoms. That was good hands by Ottawa. She poached that ball well, she closed in well, and she's on fire. Oh, oh Mohammed, what a shot. A let serve ace. Three aces to two so far for the Rollers. Muhammad, at one point in May 2017, ranked 41st in doubles as Martin can't keep that one in play. The kids in attendance trying to make some noise to support the Freedoms. 30 to 15 edge for the Rollers in this latest game. Big serve. And that serve over 100 miles per hour. Yeah, it was 109. That was a pretty big serve for Asia Muhammad. When she uses her legs, it explodes up. She can get the power on it. Well, she went for another one, 112. Swept out. So the advantage here goes to the rollers, and that means we are headed towards a nine-point tiebreaker. How about, Alexandra, the advantage here on this hard surface for some of those serves? We saw over 109. We saw 139 earlier. That is a big problem on indoor surfaces. Yes, and indoors you definitely want a big serve, but you also want to use your slice because it can cut really well on the court. Um, a lot of players out there, you know, you have to understand you can get different speeds on your serve, and it depends on the surface you play on and which power play you're going to go to. That one bounces over the net and stays in for Reed. So the early advantage in the tiebreaker goes to the rollers. Especially when you have a big serve indoors, if you have a good returner, hitting big all the time is not a good plan because the returner gets dialed in and then it's just a field day of winners. Oh, nice. a towel with the counter. Good hands. Quickly responding to even up the tiebreaker at one apiece. So first of five will win the tiebreaker and the set. Yeah, this is a great way to start off the day with this tiebreaker. And there wasn't a lot of drama in the first two days in the opening mixed double set. No, it was pretty much just the Philadelphia Freedoms all day. A 133 serve there to make it 2-1. I had a feeling because Coach Tim of the Las Vegas Rollers won the NCAA title in doubles for Las Vegas. And so he's an accomplished doubles player. So I had a feeling these first two matches were going to be close. And Reed again powering through. That's the fifth ace, back-to-back -back aces for the Rollers in Reed. And that one just squeaking in. Just caught the back of the line there. So the tiebreaker at 3-1. 
We're tied at four all yeah. as we're in the tiebreaker. But Alexandra, the thing about this is you'd have to you'd have to like the way the rollers are playing right now in this opening set. Yes, well, they have the mini break in the tiebreaker, and whoever gets the mini break first has the advantage, and if they have the momentum, you know, it can go really fast. Natal with the serve. Nice. Good play again. Body serve. I think that's Coach Craig Carden's coaching tactic. Body serve and get into the net. Muhammad can't catch up with Martin's shot. Three to two. With the rollers out in front in the tiebreaker. Oh. Nearly a nice save there. Completed successfully as Otawa got it over, but Martin could not. Yeah, that was a tough volley. It hit the net cord and came up and just threw off his rhythm a little bit. Craig Carden will use a second timeout. And we are looking at set point for the Vegas Rollers. 4-2 lead in the tiebreaker. And they have gotten better here. The rallying, really where it looked like maybe for a moment that the Freedoms were going to grab this first set, and the Rollers have come back to turn things around quickly. Yep, they definitely had the momentum, and Asia Muhammad serving, so she has a pretty strong serve. I don't think she's going to let it slip away. She went for the big one, 114. Faults on the first one. Oh, nice forehand. Martin. Keeps the freedoms in it. That's where you have to be careful when you go body serve to a guy on a second serve. You know he's going to tee off on it. Four three. Rollers leading the tiebreaker. Oh. Oh, Martin slams his racket against the net, frustrated. He was right there on the spot, couldn't get it in, and now the Rollers grab the opening set. Yeah, that's a five first. Four. Vegas out in front. We'll talk more about it after the break. Stay tuned. More from Hagen Arena in a moment. I want it. I can't believe it. That cow brought his karaoke machine. Nothing but a hard day. No, I can't believe how easy it was to save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with Geico. Tell me why I never to say. Go, Kevin. Go, Kevin. Uh, no. 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 Uh, believe it. Geico could save you 15% or more on car insurance. No time for downtime. Better get better, quick. UMC Quick Care has locations all across the valley, and you never need an appointment. So get in and get better. UMC Quick Care. Form, Barb. What are you doing? I'm gonna be a pro tennis player. I thought you were going to get things done today. I did. I had a consultation with my doctor this morning, and I set up a meeting with my lawyer by my Wimbledon application. How could you afford a lawyer? It's included on my phone. My Rocket IO Pro 3D comes with legal services, 24-7 doctor, glasses-free 3D, and it's less than $300. You saved some money. Now you can start paying rent. Wait, what? Get the Rocket IO Pro 3D for less than $300. Rocket smarter phones. How do you rock the world of tennis? Burn the rule book. Change the game. Make it faster. No, way faster. 
tear up the sexes, calling the coaches, fist bump this badass, playing teams, and don't forget the pros, lots of pros. This is the Freedoms. This is WTT, July 2019. The Vegas Rollers winning the opening set here in mixed doubles play Alexandra and we saw there Martin frustrated at the end of how that turned out. Yes, I don't think he was too happy he missed that volley, but that's a tough volley to hit when somebody goes right on the line at you at the net. And Coach Tim of the Las Vegas Rollers, he's a good coach and he's a double specialist as well. And he also on his jersey has his name yeah, he's backwards. He's a fun guy. Down. He's uh he's very zen. His ta he has a tattoo on his arm. He has a lotus flower. It has a Buddha. He says he did that because he was crazy and wild in college, and this keeps him calm <laughs> and reminds him to be spiritual. Well, he has to feel good about how this has opened up for his team. He's also Australian, so when you're Australian. You grow up knowing how to play doubles. And that perhaps showed in the opening round. And you, you take a look at this. Vegas did something that we did not see the last two nights, and that was someone get out in front early against Philadelphia. Yes, they came out, they weren't intimidated, and they took the first match. And that's sending a message. It's saying, we're here to play, and you guys better be ready. And you wonder how Philadelphia is going to respond. They haven't really had to worry about much when they've lost sets. They pretty much had things in the bag. Yeah, I think the first night they played, they didn't. So they've been in this position before. And a lot of the players on their team have played world team tennis before. So they're veterans at knowing how to come back. We will go to women's doubles play in a moment with Atawa and Townsend opposing Mohammed, and then joining Mohammed out there will be Harriet Dark. As we get our first chance to see Dart this afternoon. This is Dart's opening venture in World Team Tennis. Obviously her first with the Rollers. Yeah, it's her first time and she's playing all season, which is special. A lot of first time players don't play all season. And it'll be Townsend opening things up. Oh, and right off the bat, Dart showcases her ability. Yeah, Dart plays doubles as well. She's played a lot on the challenger circuit. She's made a bit of a big breakthrough in the last year. She got to the third round of Wimbledon. So she's she knows her way around the doubles court. She won three ITF doubles trophies last year. Yes. She's not afraid to get up to the net. Townsend, though, that time with the overhead smash to level it out at 15 each. The Empire topping Vegas yesterday, 24-16. Dropping the rollers to one and two. Lob. And just out <laughs> from Muhammad. <laughs> the Freedoms getting the best of that exchange to go up 30 to 15. And Townsend with the backhand into the net. To even it up at 30. By the way, coming up in a little bit, you'll have a chance to see a profile on Taylor Townsend. Yeah, Taylor Townsend is a stalwart of the Philadelphia Freedoms. I think she's played six seasons, and she won MVP last year. 
And as we saw the last two nights, she was the anchor with Fabrice Martin. Oh, Dart hits that one about 10 rows up. Yeah, she got her slice serve right under her left hip there. And for a two-handed player, that's a tough serve to return. Hooked it well to the right. First ball out of the stands. She's going to give it to the kids. And you know if the kids get it. They're that, not giving it back. That, that's it. <laughs> that is all. Townsend with another opportunity here. Nice. And Tawa active right there in front of the net. Yeah, another good setup by Taylor Townsend with her lefty spin serve. Wasn't very big, but it was hard to return. 78 miles per hour right there. They get the first game in this women's double doubles matchup. And We'll see if Philadelphia can regain some of the momentum. They have really played well in women's doubles play over Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> Dropped her head on that second serve. Love 15 for Philly. Yeah, Asia's known on tour for always having her nails done. She always has different colors, and she makes sure she finds a manicure and pedicure in every city she's in. <laughs> <laughs> so if you ever want your nails done, you know you go ask Asia. Harriet Dart there cleaning it up. And hey, you know, that's one of the things about social media now. People will go on social media and say, hey, I'm in town. Hook me up. Exactly. Where, where can I find a good exactly. where can I find a good nail salon? Yeah, and the nice thing is on the women's tour, sometimes they have manicure your at the site for you. Wimbledon has a whole hair salon now dedicated. I think the US is that Open right? does too, yes. Wow. Harriet Dart was in the New York Times last year. She, they did a story in the styles section on her getting her hair done at Wimbledon. <laughs> is that a pop culture moment? I would say so. Dart starting to heat up here for the Rollers. And I like how Asia always matches her outfit. So she's got the bright yellow for the Las Vegas, Vegas Rollers logo. Color coordination. Yes, that's very important. I would, I would think if you're going to do something different with the nails, you want to try to coordinate with the outfit. Yeah, exactly. long and that evens out matters at one game apiece here in this set yeah they're keeping it close i also think the philadelphia freedoms i've seen lily pulitzer and they're the sponsor for the philadelphia freedoms which is something new and cool that the management team brought in so taylor and raquel are both wearing lily pulitzer every night Tower with the serve. That one drifting out. It's a nice low return there. A half volley, that's a tough play, no matter if you're in singles or doubles. You always have to practice your half volleys out there. No, no question. Whether you're a junior, a leaguer, or a professional. Bit too long on the serve. And Dart able to get a towel to go into the net. Yeah, Dart won that volley war right there. I think we're going to see a lot of volley wars. Well, mixed doubles, we saw some. And everybody knows there's nothing better than a volley war. Has that table tennis ping pong feel to it at times. Yes, and we've got some table tennis champions on these courts tonight. Love 30 in favor of the Rollers. Apparently, there's a table tennis championship 
in New York City during the U.S. Open. And Donald Young was a finalist two years ago and made $15,000. Not too shabby. He probably made more money than he did at the U.S. Open that year. That's good money for a rainy day. Yeah, and Coach Tim won that event, and he won $30,000. That's a good gig. Yeah, more than these challenger tournaments give. The lower level of the ATP and WTA. I mean, you win one of those, you get 4,000. <laughs> and it's a lot harder work, seven matches. Who's organizing this? I got to train. I don't know. I think we need to go figure yeah, it out. I, I got to. Are you good at ping pong? You got your lefty, your I'm, lefty hook. I haven't played ping pong since, like, I was in college. So, <laughs> which was a minute ago. So <laughs> I'll have to. We, uh, we could practice. Pra yeah, I'll have to practice. Maybe they have mixed doubles. <laughs> there you go. We can do that. We'll split the prize money. All right, that's a deal. <laughs> Atawa, as she tries to take care of business here, with a 40 to 30 lead. That was a good changeup right there. She kicked it and ran into the net and threw Asia Muhammad off. The game goes to Philadelphia. Now they lead two to one. So we're even up here through mixed doubles and through the first three games of women's doubles, six all. So very packed in in terms of the competition here this afternoon. Yeah, I'm sure Coach Tim's plan was to keep it close. I mean, obviously they want to win. But definitely their game plan in, coming in here was to keep it close and then bring it home for the both singles matches. I think that's his plan. At least that's what he told me. Townsend backhand, beautiful drop. Nice short drop cross court there, good hands. Darton Muhammad have proven to be formidable. As a Talon Townsend try to hold them off, and Townsend yells in frustration. So it looked like she had a, a very makeable shot yeah. there in return, but went right into the net. Yeah, Asia pressed her. She had a good volley, and Taylor just kind of was a little lackadaisical there. Nice lob. Dart. We've seen that so many times work in favor the other way for Philadelphia and Townsend over the first two games here this week. But this time, it's in favor of the Rollers. Yeah, Dart found that lob just high enough to make it a problem for Townsend. And the tower, that floater, out of play. Yeah, that was a good wide serve right on the line. That's a hard return to make. 40 to 15 lead for the Rollers. Nice. Dart can't catch up with that one as Townsend does a wonderful job of sweeping that one away from her to make it 40 to 30. That's a classic Townsend volley. She loves to angle it off with a little spin. Those are hard balls to get back. She threw in the change of pace there. Dart, line drive to the net. Good close by Ottawa there. She put pressure on Dart to try and make a better shot than she could have. Deciding point coming. And we'll get a timeout as well to boot. And this is a big swing point here, Alexandra. The difference here, 3-1 Philly or 2-all, much different tenor to the game. 
Yeah, I mean, this no ad scoring, that puts pressure on all the players. The Philadelphia Freedoms really want to get this point. They don't want to go down a break. Both teams have shown their ability to produce at times, but it's been Philadelphia who's been able to rally back as of late. Oh, what a play oh, by Dart. Actually, they would have gone up a break. My mistake. But now it's their on serve. To all after Dart converts I, an amazing save. A quick break here on the way as we see Dart even it up between the Rollers and the Freedoms. More from Hagen Arena in a moment. Women's doubles play continuing to all between the Rollers and the Freedoms. Derek Jones and Alexandra Stevenson with you from St. Joseph's University in Hagen Arena in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Dart can't save that one. Yeah, she didn't quite get under that backhand. Visit the all-new WTT.com for live and on-demand matches, highlights, news, statistics, behind-the-scenes videos, and complete coverage of World Team Tennis 2019. You'll see plenty of content from today's game on WTT.com. Oh, tough serve by Towns, and that one, Alexandra, just kind of hooked on the way to Muhammad. Yeah, the lefty hook. That's what Taylor's known for. That's why she's such a good player, and she's in, I think she's in the top 100 now. That serve has really helped her game out. Just enough of a slice to create some movement and problems for Muhammad. Yeah, it's hard when you're a right-hander and you play a lefty that has a lot of spin on their serve because your angles change. And you don't always get to practice with a left-hander. And you really have to read it very quickly when you're playing against them. What a rally here. Ooh, oh, good point. Dart. Just inches away from keeping that going and perhaps even winning that game because yeah. had that gotten over the net, that was going to be tough to return. Exactly. She just didn't quite get up to that enough, but she almost had it clip the net and it went to the Philadelphia Freedom. A spirited series there. 
40 love. And the game goes to Philadelphia. They take a 3-2 lead, and they even up the overall total to 7 apiece. There's that spin again. Asia Muhammad just needed to adjust her feet a little bit more, and she probably could have made that shot. But that's what makes Taylor serve so good. Taylor Townsend has definitely been one of the difference makers in this 2-1 start for the Freedoms. One twelve on that serve from Muhammad. A tower. Nice play. Great play by Dart, but an even better smash from a tower. Good hands by a tower to get that drop volley up, make Harriet Dart move forward and give her an overhead winner. There have been some wonderful back and forth situations here in this set. Yeah, both the mixed and the doubles, we've seen some good doubles points. You can tell all these players play doubles. We're not seeing everybody at the baseline hitting ground strokes. Atawa once again. Just wide enough away from Dart. Love 30. Yeah, I smell a break coming. Could be on the way. Well, yeah, they need a coaching timeout right now. And Tim Blankiron talking things over. It's his first season coaching the Vegas Rollers. Yeah, he has a tennis academy in Vegas, and he has about 100 kids. So he's used to coaching. He's been a coach for about 20 years. He's comfortable in this situation. Townsend tried to loop that one over Dart. And a towel bats that one into the net. She had it. She just didn't get quite up there. 15-30. Blank Iron, by the way, went to UNLV, won the NCAA doubles title in 1997. Yeah, I actually met him in 1997. Coach Larry Easley, the famous coach of UNLV, he, he's since passed, but he taught me how to volley. And Tim was out on the court with me, teaching me how to hit my volleys. Six degrees. You mentioned six degrees of separation. <laughs> I know. That's Maybe pretty it's good. Six degrees of separation from Alexandra <laughs> instead of Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Tennis is a small world, and you meet a lot of people, and you, you might see them in 20 years. You might see them in a week. Natawa grabbing point four for the Freedoms. There is a large gap in between Dart and Muhammad for a tower to use. She collects, and it's 4-2 yeah, in they, favor of the Freedoms. They got the break, and it's 4-2, but it's still total amount of games. It's 8-7, so they're keeping it close. Again, if you're just joining us, it was the Rollers who won the mixed doubles contest. 5-4. Tough play. Nice. Oh. Yeah, Tawa can't convert. That was a tough half volley. She set it up nicely. She just missed that half volley. Love great, 15. Great angle there. Oh. 
Oh, Townsend. Yep. Right at the net. Great hands. Nice little touch forehand volley. 15 all. She disguises it well because she takes it up and it looks like she's going to smash it and then she just drops it over the net. Tower pushes that one wide. A nice deep return by Dart. Dart is known on tour for her returns. They're solid, and that's what's helped her get into the top 150. Dart labels herself as a foodie. Nothing wrong with that. The lob by Muhammad. And the smash overhead from Muhammad to make it 1540 in favor of the rollers looking for break point. They're gonna break back. In female tennis, once you break their serve, you always have to be ready for them to break you back. Girls don't like to get broken. Oh, Townsend with a fastball effort there. It's funny, you watch a men's match and men don't get broken that often, but sometimes they do. And if they do, then they're like, oh, I lost the set. When you watch a female match, if they get broken, you know it's a battle after that. And they're going to break right back and nobody's going to give you the set. Different mentality. Nice. Townsend. Once again, too strong. Yeah, she was ready for that shot. 40 all. Sudden death point again. Set, I, set point opportunity for the Freedoms. Yeah, definitely favors the Freedoms right now. Oh, into the net goes Mohammed, And Philadelphia grabs the first set of the day for the Freedoms. Now we are tied in terms of sets, but the Freedoms have grabbed a 9-7 to seven lead overall. Yeah, they ran away with it. They're two games up. They're in a good position. So the Freedoms go up by two, and we will go to break and come back with men's doubles play in just a moment. I wanted I can't believe it. The car brought his karaoke machine. No, I can't believe how easy it was to save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with Geico. Go, Kevin. Go, Kevin. No, no. Believe it. Geico could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Watch me go. Because I won't come back the same. Sometimes I'll come back with scratches and scrapes. Or with stories of great shots and close shaves. Of wins for the history books. And of losses I'll never forget. But watch me smile. Say good game. And put my racket away for now, but not for good. Because I'll have seen what I can do. And I know greatness, greatness. greatness is waiting. Sign up with Net Generation, official youth tennis of the USTA.
Momentum is on the side of the Philadelphia Freedoms as we get a look at Red Fu having a good time out there, Alexandra. Yeah, Red Fu loves his tennis. He really wants to be a player. He wants to get his ATP point, which I told him that's very difficult. You can't just win one match to get it. But he's a big tennis supporter, and it's nice to see him out there. Well, as you can see there, his real name is not Red Fu. No, that, it's Stefan. That, that's, the, that's the stage name, as they say. Yeah. And his dad, somebody very well known in music circles. Yes, Barry Gordy. I mean, the creator of Motown, he's a legend. And Red Fu really looks up to him. He's really helped him in his career. And I think his mother as well manages him. And, you know, it's a great family. And the legendary sound that Barry Gordy help create certainly is has influenced music and continues to influence music to this Still, day yep motown can't beat motown all the originals the supreme i mean lionel richie and his band oh yeah the commodores the pips gladys knight i mean that music's gonna live on forever and it's interesting with red food we talked about his love of tennis he's an energy guy yeah, he's high energy. He is has become a vegan, so he is on a juice cleanse right now. He's trying to get leaner, but he still has his energy because he said he had about three juices today, which I don't know is a good thing, but he definitely has his sugar levels up. So much charisma, and that's something that's great to add to the world team tennis environment. As we go to men's doubles play, and Fabrice Martin making the first strike. Yeah, we got the two big guys out there, 6'6 six, six and 6'11. Six, Riley Opelka for Vegas. That Martin kind of finessed that one into the net, couldn't get it over. Alexander, one of the storylines here this week is the weather. And in here, it's about 77 degrees. Outside, it is low 90s, but the wheel feels over 100 degrees, about 103 degrees. What kind of impact can something like that have in here, the differences between, between playing inside where it's a little bit more of a controlled environment versus something like that? Well, let me tell you, the World Team Tennis season is mostly outdoors, but the players are very happy they're indoors. Playing on a court that where it's, it's 93 right now, the court probably is about 120 because of the cement. So you just feel the heat coming up through your shoes. You'd have to worry about getting heat stroke, dehydration, Oof. which would be tough because you have to play the next day. And so they're very happy they're in the air conditioning right now. And it's a 40 to 15 advantage for Martin and Young. They get a bit of a brain break because when you're out there in the heat, it affects your brain as well as your body, and it Absolutely. just makes you really tired. The return from Reed to Martin too long, and the first point goes to the Freedoms. You, de you definitely would be seeing ice towels on the court right now if we were outside. Now we're just seeing towels to keep them warm. Now, one of the things about this is later on this week, Friday, they play at night here, but earlier in the day, it's supposed to be 99 degrees in that zone in this area. And Very unhealthy. No, no, nobody would want to play no, uh, and, in that type of environment. And they won't be practicing. Sometimes they practice beforehand outside. They won't be doing that for sure. 
They'll just practice inside and be ready for their night match. Love 15 for the Freedoms. Oh, that caught the person right behind the table there. Yeah, that lady might not want to stand there against Riley's serve. Apparently, Red Food told me last night he had a 147, which is the record for world team tennis so far because it went in. So maybe we'll see a 149. I, I would recommend. I mean, unfortunately, they can't hear me, but. I mean, she's still standing there. <laughs> the next one just came back there. You got to get out of the way. Okay, now, really. she, now she's moving. <laughs> that one's out from Young. So I'll make it 15-30. And a part of it is certainly Opelka's 6'11 frame. You know, you think of tall tennis players, Opelka, John Isner as yes. well. He's another one who's Eve, in that 6'11 frame. Ivo Karlovich. As Young sees that one sail out of bounds. He's known as Dr. Evo on <laughs> tour. That's what Brad Gilbert calls him. <laughs> and Evo, I think, is 40. He's still playing. Which is great since you can play to your 45 out there now. Oh. Yeah, now the bartenders need to move. You, you, yeah. I think she got nailed. Opelka. That's just a danger zone. He that should be the red zone. Don't go there. Yeah, you can see he feels bad about that. Yeah. She got hit on her cheek. Oh, almost got hit again. She's now moving. And Opelka, <laughs> I think he's looking for a change of racket. Yeah, and was that a challenge? Yep, that was an ace. Right on the line. And it was only 115, so the lady that got hit on the cheek was lucky. It wasn't 147. Well, it, it's tough because th this is what the court is. So there's... Exactly. It, you're going to have these situations pop up, but... It's like baseball. you got to be ready for the fly ball, right? Yeah, they should have a catcher back there. They should. <laughs> we said that last night. Where are the catcher mitts? Oh, now it's going to the right side. That one a little bit too quick for Young. It's daytime, so luckily there's no daytime drinkers over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if this were last night, that would be of even greater concern as it's now 1-1 after that last series. Now, you can't see this from our camera ang angle and point of view, but there's a similar area across the way on the south end uh, of what we're seeing. And you're, you're going to potentially have a similar problem when it flips and Opelka is coming this way. Oh, for sure. And there's a bit, there's a couple more people over here. I'm gonna hide under the table. Yeah, we're gonna see if these guys are gonna move. They have chairs though. So maybe they can move their chairs over to the side. I don't think they're worried about Donald Young's serve. It's good, but it's not a six foot 11 bomber. <laughs> Different. Tax, tax bracket, if you will, yeah. in terms of uh, the, the serve speed. 15.30. With the advantage to the rollers at the moment, it's a tie contest in men's doubles play. Overall, the Freedoms have the lead. And now, it's knotted at 30. Nice serve. Long by Reed and Young able to perhaps cash in 
with a point. Yeah, he doesn't have a big bomber serve, but he does have a lefty with a lot of spin on his serve. And just like Taylor Townsend, that's a hard return to hit. You got to adjust your footwork. That was a free point. Faults there. And double faults. An issue here. I believe that's the third. Yeah, Donald Young takes a bit, bit of time to warm up, as we saw last night. Coming in cold off the bench. And Reed right into the net. And the point goes to the Freedoms as they take a two to one lead. Yeah, I think he went for a very hard angle to get from the position he was in. He should have just gone down the middle on that one. Very close contest so far. It's 11-8 overall with Philadelphia in the lead over the Rollers. Yeah, they've now pulled away by three. Breed went for, outside. Went for that line ball again. Get a look there. Inches off the line. And Young, once again, playing that one well. And Reed. Not enough mustard on the volley. Love 30. Nice return. Oh, and Young sees that one collide with the net. He didn't quite get around that enough and just pulled up on it. By the way, this is Young's final day here at Hagen Arena this week. We'll go to the road tomorrow with the team, but he will not be back here on Friday night. Part of a changing roster for the Freedoms. And Young sees that one drift out of play. 30 all. Adrian Menendez was announced this morning, has withdrawn altogether. Yeah, he's still on the bench tonight. I think today he was um, hitting out on the court. I was watching him hit. He was trying to convince Coach Craig Carden that he's healthy. But I don't think Coach Carden was having it. <laughs> he was like, dude, your calf is strained. You're out. So I feel bad for him. That's a hard pill to swallow. It's in world team tennis, when you're injured, they don't want you around. And unfortunately for him, that happened in the opener on Sunday against Springfield. By the way, break point coming up for Philadelphia out of this timeout. Mitchell Kruger will hop into the roster for the Freedoms beginning on Friday. Yeah, I don't know Mitchell Kruger. I'll have to do my homework. Deep dive. Go out and watch him practice. A little bit of a hole for the Rollers to dig out of here. They're down 30-40 in this game, and they're trying to not fall behind. 3-1. And that's tough. Reed fading away, it looked like there. And just that body language cost him. Yeah, Opelka and Reed haven't quite gelled as a team so far. Three to one lead for the Philadelphia Freedoms. 
It is Martin and Young taking care of business so far. We'll have more from Hagen Arena in Philadelphia momentarily. Stay tuned. Give me a racket and watch me go. Because I won't come back the same. Sometimes I'll come back with scratches and scrapes. Or with stories of great shots and close shaves. Of wins for the history books. And of losses I'll never forget. But watch me smile. Say good game. And put my racket away for now, but not for good. Because I'll have seen what I can do. And I know greatness, greatness. greatness is waiting. Sign up with Net Generation, official youth tennis of the USTA. There's no time for downtime. You better get better, quick. UMC Quick Care has locations all across the valley, and you never need an appointment. So get in and get better. UMC Quick Care. Perform, Barb. World Team Tennis. Lasers take home their first King Trophy. The Castles get it done. San Diego Aviators have won it. There it is. Orange County Breakers are the World Team Tennis Champion. What an amazing effort by an amazing team. Where every point counts. Derek Jones and Alexandra Stevenson with you at Hagen Arena. World Team Tennis. Day three for the Freedoms here in Philly. And they lead it 3-1 to one in men's doubles action. And Reed, his struggles continue. Alexander, he, he hasn't been able to get into a rhythm here the last few moments. No, he's just, I don't know, maybe his back's hurting him <laughs> from sitting on the bench during the women's doubles. He's not as quick as he was in the mixed. Young. That was a good move. A glancing shot from him. Could not keep it in play. 15 all. And this is potentially, Alexandra, a swing game in, in this entire match today. Yeah, they could pull away right here and get up 4-1 and then be up 13-8. And that's something Las Vegas rollers do not want to happen. Oh, and Young. That was, that was a big forehand. I think he thought he had it for a second. Yeah. And it just went right into the net. Fifteen thirty. Nice volley. Mark. Excellent for, that, for Brees Martin. That was a veteran play right there. Serve down the tee, get to the net, put away the volley. Martin looks like he has something in his eye. Well, it looks like he's ready to roll. 30 all. Elka, that backhand could not get it over the net, and that sets up shop for potentially a point here in favor of the Freedoms. And there you go, Opelka, not enough juice once again, and it's 4-1 in favor of the Freedoms. 139, Alexandra. We haven't seen 147 yet, but Fabrice Martin is showing he can serve just as big. So 139, I think that's his biggest today. I believe that so. Correct. Biggest of anyone on the court so far. Long no, 15. No one got hit, so that was good. That's a positive. Up oh, 137. Oh. And Reed. Good return. 
Again, just coming up a little short there. Love 30. Double fault there from Opelka. We talked about John Isner earlier. Opelka and Isner kind of tied at the hip a little bit. It, there's a lot of similarities in height, but also in the 2019 Australia Open, it was Opelka who beat Isner. Yes, I think uh, Isner was coming off an injury. He hasn't had such a good year as he did last year, and playing similar styles is sometimes tough as a player when you play somebody that's identical to you, and Opelka just had bigger serves and bigger forehands that day. Second time he's been able to grab a top 10 win in his career. Martin can't do anything with that 100 mile per hour serve of Opelka. He went after Reed there. Reed's probably happy it hit the net. Set point once again. Play. Easy play for Reed. 40 all. Set point. So it'll either be trimmed to a 4 to 2 lead or the Freedoms will win this set. Oh, slice that wide. That was a smart play. So credit. Once again, that powerful serve of Opelka getting it done at 118. It's now 4-2 Freedoms. Yeah, for Opelka, he changed the spin up there and changed the speed, even though it was 118, which is the big serve on the female side. Look at that height. He got it the perfect angle, and he got it up high, and nobody could return it. Young faults on the first one. Out from Reed. You can see Reed, that body language is so, so frustrated. He hasn't been able to make a couple of extra plays out there for his team. Yes, Reed kind of just deflated this whole match. I mean, he was peppy in the mixed doubles, and he, I don't know, he should have eaten a banana on the changeover. <laughs> <laughs> he needs some energy right now. Maybe some goo energy gel with caffeine in it. Oh, tough play for Opelka. And that was smart. Donald brought him up. You want to bring the big guy forward. Make him hit those low shots. Getting down for six foot 11 is not easy. 30 love as a result and the Rollers were able to pull that last one out of the fire. We'll see if they can do it again. Nice. Not that time. Good setup, body serve, give Martin the volley. Set point coming. Yeah, today the men's doubles have kind of rolled through their match. In contrast is, Young can't get that first one over. In contrast from what we've seen the last couple of days, yeah, the women's, the mixed, and women's singles. Double fault from Young, 40 to 15. It's a fourth double fault for the Freedoms. Looking at holes in what we've seen from them in doubles play here, it's been that. Yeah, it shows you, though, in five-game matches, a couple double faults here or there for Donald Young haven't really mattered. And Martin can't come up with the return. And just like that, it's 40 to 13, so, or 40 to 30. We 40, just saw 30. this. Yeah. We just saw that a few, moments, a few moments ago, excuse me, where the rollers fell in the hole, rallied back, and here we go again. Yeah, still set point, though. Just messed up. Sudden death point. 
will go even. Just missed that volley long. 40 all. Shot, shot spot shows. Hawkeye about two inches out. The Freedoms trying to find a way to shake the rollers here. Yeah, Martin's definitely want to is going to want to poach on this serve. Oh, good serve down the tee. Young with that explosiveness gives the Freedoms the set victory at five to two. So they open up an advantage and Young able to settle things up on the serve. And now as we get you set for our final two sets, we'll take a quick breather and what we'll do right now is take you to a special feature on the outstanding Taylor Townsend. This is World Team Tennis Action from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and Hagen Arena. More in a moment. What drives me is just I love the game. I love competing. I love the challenge of having to improve and learning how to tweak everything every single day. It's always a different day and there are different things that you have to do each and every day to, to compete, to get better, to adjust to the opponent that you have so it's ever changing. Nice shot by Taylor Townsend. I love the format, the team environment. It, just, it gives you something different that you can look forward to, something different than just being out on the court by yourself. It gives you a team atmosphere and a team environment. It's really fun. Oh, come on. That was an incredible shot. I don't really think there's any way you could prepare for Worlds in Tennis. I've done it so many times that I'm familiar with the format, so the jitters and the nerves that I had when I first started, thankfully, aren't as intense. They found a way back in that game. I won it. I can't believe it. That cow brought his karaoke machine. Nothing but a hard day. No, I can't believe how easy it was to save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with Geico. Love you, why? No, Kevin. No, Kevin. No. no. Believe it. Geico could save you 15% or more on car insurance. tennis player. I thought you were going to get things done today. I did. I had a consultation with my doctor this morning, and I set up a meeting with my lawyer about my Wimbledon application. How could you afford a lawyer? It's included on my phone. My Rocket IO Pro 3D comes with legal services, 24-7 doctor, glasses free 3D, and it's less than $300. You saved me some money. Now you can start paying rent. Wait, what? Get the Rocket IO Pro 3D for less than $300. Rocket smarter phone. Give me a racket and watch me go. Because I won't come back the same. Sometimes I'll come back with scratches and scrapes. Or with stories of great shots and close shaves. Of wins for the history books. And of losses I'll never forget. But watch me smile. Say good game. And put my racket away for now, but not for good. Because I'll have seen what I can do. And I know greatness. Greatness, greatness is waiting. Sign up with Net Generation, official youth tennis of the USTA. Lasers take home their first King Trophy. The Castles get it done. San Diego Aviators have won it. There it is. Orange County Breakers are the World Team Tennis Champions. What an amazing effort by an amazing team. Where every point counts. World Team Tennis is brought to you by USTA, the United States Tennis Association. Music provided by Free Play Music, the best music library on the planet. Now, welcome back to Hagen Arena in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Derek Jones and 
Wimbledon semifinalist Alexandra Stevenson with you as we guide you along through what has been an exciting first few sets of action, Alexandra. And when we take a look here at what's been going on with the Freedoms, they, they've gotten better as things have progressed. Yes, they've warmed up. It was a bit of a slow start in the mix, but they kept it close. And they pulled out, really, with the men's doubles. They pulled ahead. They lead it 14-9 overall. What are some of your takeaways here from the first three sets? I think Las Vegas Rollers, I think Matt Reed kind of lost his energy in the men's doubles. They didn't really gel as a team with Riley Opelka. So I think their coaches kind of go back and reassess and, you know, bring it home with the men's singles and the women's singles. That's his plan. And with Coach Craig Carden, their plan is just to keep trying to steamroll like the last two nights. And no question, they were not able to do that in the mixed doubles setup. Philadelphia lost that one 5-4, to four, but since then, a right. pair of 5-2 victories, and that will set it up for singles action the rest of the way. First up, it will be Young versus Opelka in men's singles play, and then the capper, Townsend versus Darton, which should be an outstanding matchup. Yes, I think so. Harriet Dart and Taylor Townsend are both playing well. And I think off this court, it'll be interesting because Harriet Dart is British. So she, she grew up indoors half of the year. So she looked pretty good in the doubles. She looked comfortable. And, you know, Taylor, this is her home court, and it's going to be a battle. And you get a chance to see it right there with the matchups over the next two sets. Riley Opelka taking on Donald Young and Harriet Dart facing Taylor Townsend, who you just saw the feature on a few moments ago. And that will close things out. So we've seen something a little different each day here in Philadelphia in terms of what the closer is. Yes, um, both coaches have mixed up their playing field, and the home coach gets to pick the lineup, and he obviously wanted to do singles last to get everybody warmed up and ready to go. I think he knew it was a quick turnaround today, playing in the daytime as opposed to night, so he wanted his main singles players to be warmed up in the mix and doubles. And right now, when you look at how this has played out, this is still very much in play as far as who's going to win the overall play today. Yes, the Philadelphia Freedoms are ahead, but these last two matches, you know, they're going to be ready because they know Las Vegas Rollers have two good singles players on their teams and they could very well win a match 5-2. You never know. It just depends. Absolutely. And depending on how this fleshes out, if it's close enough, we could see extended play. So a lot still on the table here in world team tennis. We've gotten through here two days and we're through three sets today. What about Philadelphia has impressed you overall? I think their doubles prowess has impressed me. Um, everybody on their team can play good doubles. And in world team tennis, that's what matters. The singles, you know, on the main stage, singles is the most important. But on the world team tennis stage, it's doubles. And we've seen both teams kind of flex their respective muscle in different aspects. Vegas got going with the mixed doubles win to start out. The women's double doubles win went to the side of Philadelphia, as has the men's doubles yes. as well. So we will see what the singles play has in store for Philly and Vegas in a moment. But I think a couple of things to kind of keep in mind, obviously, is that, you know, we've seen these players on the doubles stage, and now we'll see a few of them kind of shift back to singles, especially a guy like Riley Opelka, who has that strong serve, that can be a big asset in singles play. Yes, and Riley Opelka is a singles player. He doesn't play doubles a lot. He's known for his singles. He's still an up-and-comer. He's got a big serve. It'll be interesting on this court because it's fast if he gets his footwork moving. You know, as a big player myself, you got to get your footwork moving. We're not five foot six, five foot five little rabbits on the court. <laughs> We've got big, powerful shots, and we, you got to make sure to move your feet. 
so it's kind of like the giant playing the little guy right now. Donald Young's quick on his feet. He uses his spin. He has more artistry to his game. And Riley Opelka has more power. So it's going to be a contrasting of styles, and it should be fun to watch. We saw Opelka change his racket earlier when he was having trouble kind of keeping that serve that rocket serve away from the spectators. Any reason you think why he made well, that change? Well, I think because the rest of the season, the, the different cities, they're all outside. So he's been coming from hot conditions. And your strings are like your, your racket's like your violin. The strings have to be perfect. So going to 77 degrees in air conditioning, you probably want to lower your tension. When you're in hot, humid weather, you want to make your tension higher because the string's going to get dead fast. And those are some of the challenges that you face. And certainly, as we talked about a little while ago with the weather, far different being indoors here uh, in Philadelphia totally today versus conditions. being outdoors. Yes, which to is totally different conditions. It also matters who the stringer is for the event. So whichever city you're traveling to, you want to make your, the stringer your best friend. Because if your rackets aren't strung right, the ball's going to fly it might go in the net and you just won't have that feeling of a good hit visit the all new wtt.com for live and on demand matches highlights news statistics behind the scenes videos and complete coverage of world team tennis 2019 we are closing in on opelka versus young which will kick off singles play the first singles game of today Summer is heating up, and so is WTT. Be sure to visit us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at World Team Tennis for exclusive content, highlights, news, behind-the-scenes videos, and complete coverage of World Team Tennis 2019. And we talked about that heat. It's far less of a concern about hydration when you're in these type of temps versus being outdoors. But so far, a 14-9 lead for Philadelphia against the Vegas Rollers as the fans look on. And Philadelphia, as we said, their week continues tomorrow on the road at Orlando. They'll return on Friday night to continue play here. And certainly it's got to be a test of endurance for this group because this is not a deep Philadelphia roster. No, you know, they don't have extra players, and they're going into Orlando where it's hot and humid and outside. So it's going to be interesting. You know, they're in match shape, and match toughness is a key to being successful. If you don't have match toughness and you go into a tournament, you're in trouble, and you have to try and build that up. Well, they've built the momentum, so that should help them. They just have to adjust to the heat and the slower court. Orlando will make the trip in here on Friday with Feliciano Lopez as yeah, one of the key exciting. players to watch. I know, as Judy Murray calls him, Deliciano. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, he's a good looker. He's a fun lefty to watch. He just came off winning Queens doubles with Andy Murray and singles. So, you know, he was outside the top 100 and he got back inside the top 100 three weeks ago. He's had a big month of tennis and should be, bring some excitement and extra people. And I'm sure you'll see a lot more girls in the crowd and women who lo love Feliciano. We see Judy Murray There's there. Judy Murray right there. Judy Murray, the mother of Andy Murray and Jamie Murray as well. Yep, she's a great coach, a great women's coach. She uh, worked at Indian Wells with my friend Sarah Stone's WTCA, Women's Tennis Coaching Association in March and she gave back and she's just a great lady, smart, intelligent coach. She was a former Fed Cup captain for Great Britain. So, you know, you've got history right there on the bench. That's quite a family bloodline of tennis history with the Murrays. Opelka and Young underway. And Opelka out on that return. 101 on the serve. 
Yes. Okay, so where Opelka is serving towards, as we'll get a look at it here in a moment, <laughs> one, of the, one of the attendees, I suppose, is standing behind Donald Young with a basket. Yeah, it looks like they went and got a laundry basket. Smart. <laughs> I yeah. mean, a catcher's mitt might have been better, but maybe he's not as, um, you know, comfortable <laughs> catching the ball. That's a defense mechanism, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, the basket's bigger. <laughs> that makes plenty of sense. It's safer. I don't think I've ever seen that. That's hilarious. Oh, what a save oh. by Young. Wow. Good footwork there. That was quick. Looked like Opelka had him dent the rights there. Yeah, but he made him play that extra shot. And against Riley Opelka, that's what you want to do. Oh, right he in, caught it. Right into the basket. <laughs> so this is a new thing, world team tennis fans. When Riley Opelka comes, bring your laundry baskets. Thirty. That was 140. He's getting close to 147. 140 and. And Donald Young returned it. So it shows you it doesn't always matter about the speed of the serve. It matters about the placement. He looks a little nervous. Yeah, he, trying to, he and does I don't look blame a him. Nervous. I don't blame him. I wouldn't want to be down there doing that. He's probably like, "Where's my face mask?" That one's out from Young. He's protecting the bar lady. Forty thirty. One forty one. We're inching closer to one forty seven. And Young can't do anything with that as Opelka at 131, causing Young to go into the net. And it's a 1-0 lead for Opelka and the Rollers. Oh, nicely done by Donald Young. It's a good setup for the first serve and to get the forehand. He's going to be looking for his forehand all night. 15 love. Into the net again from Young. Yeah, Donald Young's going to be looking for his forehand, and Riley Opelka is going to be looking to hit the Donald Young's backhand. 15 all. Opelka going just a little bit wide there. And it's 30 to 15 in favor of Donald Young. That one swept wide. Alexandra, how important is it for someone like Opelka who has that 6'11 frame, the, f the footwork, that has to be key. Oh, the footwork is imperative. I mean, especially in tennis today with the slower courts out there, you know, I work really hard on my footwork every day. I'm sure he works hard on his footwork as a tall person you have more body to get around the ball and you can be fast and quick. You're just probably not going to be as fast and quick as a five foot five or a five foot nine guy out there. I think Donald Young is maybe five nine, five ten. So he just has an easier time getting around the ball. Now running forward, you have longer legs, so it's easier. I love sprinting forward. And a long wingspan too. Yeah, long wingspan, that helps you too. It's just when the ball comes into your body, getting that weight out of the way. Young able to tie it up at one.
Nice save. Like right there. He needed to get around the ball maybe a split second faster. And Opelka, you mentioned the long legs, long arms too. It's a wingspan that can be very effective in terms of rallies and keeping things going. Yeah, really effective. I mean, in the old days, if he was in the 1970s, he'd just be serving volleying. But it's nice to see these big guys. They have the wingspan, they have the footwork now. They can play off the baseline and use their volleys. So you see an all-court game. Acrobatic save there by Young. Yeah, net cord. Good serve. Opelka at 127 there. You may have seen a moment ago as Opelka was serving, he kind of hunched over, and in the background you could see Billie Jean King looking on. She's here again today. Yeah, she's smart. She's not sitting in the middle of the court. She's yeah. off to the side. Out from Opelka. You think he's having some trouble controlling that power, Alexandra? I think the indoors is a bit different for him right now. They just came from outside, and it, it is an adjustment, but he only has five games to do it. He got a little taste of it in the men's double, so he should be adjusted a little bit better. That just got caught up at the top of the net for Young. And that allows Opelka to close the gap to 30-40. Nice serve. Oof. 135, ace out wide. Whizzing between two spectators. Yeah. And she just ducked a little bit, went right over her shoulder. Look at the trajectory of that. I mean, basically, every serve he gets, he gets to dunk on every serve, which must be a nice feeling. Deciding point at 40-40. And Opelka with the delivery to go up 2-1. Donald Young was trying to bait him right there, making him serve out wide. He was moving around. It's a smart play, but he left the whole court open, and Opelka got the line ball. Like Opelka was struggling a little bit there to, to hang in and keep shots in play, but he rallies to go up now 2-1 to one in this men's single set. And this is important for the rollers if they want to try to win this match overall. If they don't, it could prove to be very difficult for them to win moving forward. Nice, big out wide forehand down the line. Young outstretched, couldn't get to it. Lump 15. Opelka's going to want to try and break right here. This is an important game for them. Just out. Love 30. Talked about the weather and some of the elements indoors versus outdoors. Last night in New York, where the rollers were, temperatures in the upper 80s. Yeah, that's a hot night in New York City. So these guys might have a little day hangover just from the heat. You can have day hangovers in tennis without drinking alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Young can't do anything with that return. He's got break point now. Love 40. Oh. Just out. Still has two breaks. He's in a good position. Oh. A tough break there for Opelka. 
That one just tipped the top of the net, stayed in, and playable. But Opelka could not get it back. Yeah, it was a net cord. One of the things I talked to him about was the rules. Has he gotten used to them? And he said, not yet. Long. And now we'll go 40 all. Good serve by Donald Young. And in world team tennis, you play let cord. So that's something new you have to get used to right away. And once again, we saw this scenario pop up earlier. When you get to this type of position, 2-1, it's a big swing potentially in the game. 3-1 could be the lead here for Opelka, or will be tied at two after four games. And it makes it even more difficult because it's a sudden death point. So both players battling a great deal here. And this could be a huge, huge point in this match. Just out from Young. Solid return right there. He made him hit it. 3-1 lead for Opelka and the Rollers. We will take a quick break and come back with more men's singles play in a moment. World Team Tennis from Hagen Arena. Stay tuned. is over 75 years of savings and service. Whoa. Travis and IT made it. It's amazing. Oh, is, is that Travis's app? It's pretty cool, isn't it? There's two of them. They're multiplying. Is over no. No, guys, it's me. See? No, I'm real. I'm real. He thinks he's real. <laughs> Geico. Over 75 years of savings and service. Jones and Alexandra Stevenson with you today from St. Joseph's University in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Men's singles play during world team tennis action as Donald Young just can't convert off of that serve. 120 that time from Opelka. Yeah, that was a nice serve out wide. He had some slice on it. Still big, still 120, but definitely a slice wide for Opelka. That one clips the top of the net. Young is just having a hard time catching up with that serve. 135 that time. Just makes it so hard to come up with a substantial return. And once again, catching the net. And it has to be frustrating for Young. Yeah, Opelka's picking his spots really well, and he's gotten three serves in. So when he gets three first serves in, you know he's going to be up 40 love. Huh. And that one just staying Good in return. for Young. He cut that one off and used Opelka's pace and got the return in the corner. We see so many times players try to do that, ends up sailing a little bit long. Yeah, Donald Young had some good control right there on his backhand. And Young can't get to that one. That was definitely a one-two punch service game. 4-1 now in favor of Opelka. That speed and power making a big difference. 
And certainly as you take a look at Young, he gives a jolt of energy to this Freedoms Club. But he'll need to come up with something here to overcome Opelka as Opelka goes long on his return. Young once again into the net. He's, you can see him talking to himself out there, Alexandra. He's getting frustrated. Yeah, we were talking about footwork earlier, and, you know, just because you're a smaller guy on the court doesn't mean you, ha you can't get your footwork out of the way, and he just was a couple steps off there. And on the return end, it's Opelka who sends back to favor, 30 to 15. With both these guys, we've seen pretty fast points. Opelka, a little bit too much power on that last one. As we see Young serve placement thus far. Yeah, he's mostly going body and back in on the outside. Opelka's kind of pulling it more wide. And once again, Young just trying to battle through it here. Trying to wipe his head and wipe his hands as well. Love 15. Fans trying to rally behind Donald Young. Young will get another shot at it. Favorite athletes include Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, and Pete Sampras. That one out from Opelka. I'm sure Young would love to channel his inner Pete ha Sampras at this point. For sure. I think that was game. Donald Young just won the game right there. So Young closing the deficit to four to two. Yep. So it was a different score, but now it's four two. It was just four one, but Donald Young held his serve, and now Opelka's serving. Off the top of the net and out. First point. So Young will take a lead here. It's always a good sign against a big server. You want to get the first point as the receiver because then you're up by one point and you have a little leeway. Ooh. Except right there <laughs> when you get aced. 135 from Opelka and another ace. They've been racking them up. That's his third of the set. Now is fourth. A fourth one. They're in double digits as a team today in aces, while Philadelphia has not even been close in that particular category, but they're still leading. 139. Nice kick serve right into his body. That's a hard return. And look how high it kicked up. And went too far. Set point coming for Opelka. See, are we going to see the big T down the, big ace down the T? Oh, he went for it. Oh, just missed it. 138. Right on the line. And wide from Young. And Opelka puts this one in the books. 
and men's singles play for the Rollers. Final set of the day coming in a moment. It will be women's singles play. Can Vegas steal this match from Philadelphia? Find out when we come back to Hagen Arena in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. karaoke machine. No, I can't believe how easy it was to save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with Geico. Go, Kevin! Go, Kevin! No! no. Believe it, Geico could save you 15% or more on car insurance. What are you doing? I'm gonna be a pro tennis player. I thought you were going to get things done today. I did. I had a consultation with my doctor this morning, and I set up a meeting with my lawyer by my Wimbledon application. How could you afford a lawyer? It's included on my phone. My Rocket IO Pro 3D comes with legal services, 24-7 doctor, glasses-free 3D, and it's less than $300. You saved me some money. Now you can start paying rent. Wait, what? Get the Rocket IO Pro 3D for less than $300. Rocket, smarter phone. Welcome back to Hagen Arena in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Derek Jones and Alexander Stevenson with you. The final match of the day. Women's singles play as it'll be Harriet Dart taking on Taylor Townsend. And what should be an outstanding matchup. And Alexandra for Harriet Dart get a little help warming up with a lefty. Yes, Evan Song, who's been on the bench all day. He came out and he's warming her up and that's really important. When you're playing a left-handed player, you want to warm up with a lefty if you can. So the rollers have a bit of an edge. They've got a lefty on the bench. Summer is heating up and so is WTT. Be sure to visit us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at World Team Tennis for exclusive content, highlights, news, behind the scenes videos, and complete coverage of World Team Tennis 2019. We saw Red Fu out there kind of, not, I don't know if I want to say warming up, but getting loose, <laughs> per se. Yeah, he wants to warm up and play. <laughs> now, he, I believe I heard that he made a brief appearance during yesterday's game against the New York Empire. Oh, really? Did he play a point? Well, it... It was real quick, not not a long, not a long discourse, not a long back and forth. So, just it, it didn't really affect anything. It was it didn't it was a it didn't matter point. Men's doubles, yes. Yeah, but it mattered to Red <laughs> Fu because he got to play with professionals. That's and, right. You know, Red Fu is talented artist, musician, and but he's always wanted to be a professional tennis player. Townsend and Dart open it up. And too long from Dart as it goes into the area behind Townsend. 
That's the thing about Red Foo. You know, it's easy to, to say, you know, well, he's not serious because he's a singer. He is serious, very serious about tennis. Yeah, I mean, tennis is his passion. I think he would have loved to be maybe a stronger athlete <laughs> to have been a te professional tennis player. But, you know, it's only a 1% chance to be a professional tennis player. So he's pretty good. Dart long again and quickly in a 40-lump hole. Yeah, I think he could have played Division Three college tennis. Interesting. He's working on his serve. There are some D3 programs here on the East Coast, at least, in tennis. And certainly throughout the country as the first point goes to Townsend. Yeah, she had a good hold right there. She's not messing around. They want to close this lead. They don't want the rollers to come back. Well, it, the pivotal thing as we see Red Fu there, a pivotal point to, to check out here, it's now 17-14. I mean, this is obviously very much still in play for Vegas. Oh, for sure. I mean, Harriet Dart got to the third round of Wimbledon this year. Duchess Kate, Kate Middleton, she came out to court 14, which is one of my favorite courts, to watch her play, which is rare. The Duchess never ventures out of center. So Harriet Dart's having a good season. Oh, nice save by Townsend, but it just can't make it over the net. And that point, at least setting up nicely for Dart. You mentioned kind of the layout at Wimbledon. Uh, you know, I, when I had a chance to go there a couple years ago, you see it on TV and you think everything just, you know, everything kind of looks the same. You go there and realize, oh, my goodness, no. No, it's not the same. So uh, center court, beautiful, and the, but the other courts are small. Yeah, well, center court's historic. Court one is actually bigger than center, mm -hmm. although they put the roof up on center, so it might be comparable right. in size. But the outer courts, you know, those are where the action is. You get to be right up close and personal with the players. So for the Duchess to go out there was a big deal. I'm sure they had to do a security check. Townsend can't get that one going. Yeah. I mean, you're sitting on bleachers out on the outer courts, and you don't think of Wimbledon as silver bleachers. No, no. 40 to 15 for Dart. Just out from Dart. She's, she's playing her patterns well. She's a very she's she's a pattern player, and so if you see that, if you see Taylor Townsend running side to side, you know Harriet Dart's hitting her spots. Well, uh, mm, looks, that first one from Townsend looked out. Looks like she wants to challenge. We're going to see a Hawkeye. I, yeah, she wants to challenge that shot. From my vantage point, that looked out it's in gonna front be of Dart. Really close. Oh. That was way in. It was way in. It didn't look like that. <laughs> no. Harry Dart didn't think so either. Interesting. Nice. Come in. Good play. Dart sending Townsend all over the court. Put those track shoes on, and Dart getting the better of the play to tie it up at one. Yeah, she, she found the line ball there, which put Taylor on the defensive. And then she pulled it out cross wide to come in. You know, we might see a super tie break today. We could. We could see that. We could see extended play. There's a lot of things still on the table here. And 
if you're Philadelphia, you're hoping this is straight and to the point. Win the set and get out of here. Nice serve. Not much Dart could do with that. As Townsend able to position that properly and make it a hard time for Dart. Yeah, if you see, not a lot of power on her serve, but her spin and placement make it a difficult serve to return. Dart, unable to get that one over. Townsend's rallies. I just like how Townsend's ball just, just kind of takes off on a line over the net. Yeah, she uses her spin really well, and that low slice, that was a hard shot for Harriet Dart to come up and hit. If you see, she shadow swinged after she missed it with the ball. Make sure for next time. Dart had to lunge there one way and had no chance to recover on the other side. Townsend trying to close out the point. Faults there. Gets the point. Another good body serve. Not a lot of power, but a lot of speed and a lot of spin on that ball right into her body. 2-1 advantage for Townsend and a three-point advantage in the total for Philadelphia. As Townsend trying to pay off Philadelphia's success previously here this afternoon as Townsend hits that one in the net. Alexandra, you know, when you're in that kind of that cleanup spot, if you will, the end spot, Coach Carden showing a lot of confidence in Taylor Townsend to be the closer. Yeah, definitely. She's definitely the closer of the team. I think Craig wants this match to be fast, and I think he hopes that it's going to be a runaway break but Harriet Dart is, you know, she's a fighter. So 15 all. Check that 15 low. Swept wide by Townsend. Let's check it out. 30. Love. And in a situation here, if you're Dart now, you really have to get moving since you've fallen behind here in this set. Yeah, well, they're still on serve, so she's not totally behind, and she's up 30 love, so she's a little bit comfortable, but she's definitely, her plan here is to hold serve and keep it close. Yeah, Coach Tim wants her to hold all her serves. I think they <laughs> both coaches want the girls to hold their serves and take it to a tiebreaker. 40 love. They want to amass as many points and as many games as they can get. And also the rollers know that Taylor is a closer because of her history w with world team tennis. So Harriet Dart would have been well coached beforehand. Oh, Townsend tried to power that one, but got caught up. And that gives the Rollers an opportunity to tie this up. Dart has even the score at two as we go to a fifth game here in a moment. We'll have more from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in women's singles play for World Team Tennis. Stay tuned. How do you rock the world of tennis? Burn the rule book. Change the game. Make it faster. No, way faster. Tear up the sexes, call in the coaches, and fist bump this badass. Playing teams, and don't forget the pros. Lots of pros. This is the Freedoms. This is WTT, July 2019. Give me a racket and watch me go. 
because I won't come back the same. Sometimes I'll come back with scratches and scrapes. Or with stories of great shots and close shaves. Of wins for the history books. And of losses I'll never forget. But watch me smile. Say good game. And put my racket away for now, but not for good. Because I'll have seen what I can do. And I know greatness, greatness. greatness is waiting. Sign up with Net Generation, official youth tennis of the USTA. There's no time for downtime. Better get better, quick. UMC Quick Care has locations all across the valley, and you never need an appointment. So get in and get better. UMC Quick Care. Form, Barb. Visit the all-new WTT.com for live and on-demand matches, highlights, news, statistics, behind-the-scenes videos, and complete coverage of World Team Tennis 2019 as we get a look at the rally hit point comparison. Al Alexandra, what do you take away from that? Well, Dart's playing her game plan, and she's moving inside the court 54%. And Taylor, you know, she's needs to move forward a little more. She can't be on the defensive as much, that, but that's why it's been close, because Dark's following out her plan from Coach Tim. Love 15. Dark trying to stay on schedule. And just off from Townsend. Townsend catching the net. And Dart has really been able to, to curry some momentum here after what was a slow start in this set. A little bit of a slow start, but they're on serve, so they're still safe. You know, no breaks of serve yet. Harriet Dart's a solid player. She likes her baseline play. She's solid off both sides, and she's not going to give Taylor any lead way. Too long from Dart. There's that lefty spin again. Wait, pivotal. Yeah, when the ball hits the court, it hits and moves to the opposite side that you think it's coming at. And that's why a lefty is so effective. There we go again. Dart can't come up with the answer. Missed time that return. And now we're even at 30. But she had a little bit of, you know, wiggle room. She was up 30 love. Now it's 30 all. She's got to tighten up right here. Nice. Townsend drops it in just enough to prevent Dart from getting to it. There's the Taylor Townsend soft hands. She wants the same ball. It's a lucky ball. 40 to 30. Players are superstitious like that. If you hit a good shot or an ace, you want that ball back. It, the players are that cognizant of that? Oh, yeah. You'll wow. track down the ball kid and tell him to give you the same ball. Nice. That was a good service hold. A blast through by Townsend to grab the point. 3-2. And now op opening up an overall lead of 19 to 16. Yeah, and she put the pressure back on Harriet Dart. So now Harriet Dart has to hold her serve to stay in the match. And this is really the difference between what we saw on Monday and Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday, those games were by and large comfortable. It, yeah, it was going to be tough for the other teams to come back. This one very much still in play. Yes, there were no pressure moments, really, and y you can already tell everybody's intense right now on that court, including everybody sitting on the bench. Yeah. 15 all.
15 all. This is a big point right here. Down oh, the line. Huge backhand down the line. She still has the momentum. That could have been a momentum changer. 30 to 15 for Dart. Tightly down the line, and you can see that enthusiasm powering through. She loves that backhand down the line. That's one of her best shots. Pounds and catches the net, 40 to 15. Yeah, Harry Dart's hitting her spots really well right now. One of the good things is she's a competitor, Harriet Dart, so she doesn't fade. She keeps fighting. Oh. And Dart just a little bit too much on that return. And that keeps things in rhythm for Townsend, who will stay alive. Yeah, she pulled off that shot a little bit, sailed it long. She's still up 40-30, though. Just out off the top of the net and drifting out of play. Yeah, she, the last two points, she didn't really play as solid as she did the first three. She got a little tight there. And now this is really huge. Yeah, she's for a Harriet. little upset at herself. This is huge for Harriet Dart. Deciding point, 40 off. It goes to 4-2. That obviously has ramifications on how the rest of this game could play out. They will go up, speaking of Philly, 20-16. to 16, But also they'll be a point away from that point of winning the set. And the match. Yes. Yeah, this is a sudden death point to the T. She needed a first serve there. Down the line and in play for Taylor Townsend. 4-2, Philly Freedoms. That was clutch right there. If you saw Taylor Townsend added a little bit more spin to her shots to make them safe, and Harriet's shots were too low and flat, and Taylor got that inside out forehand that she loves. Just got caught on the other side, did dart, and Townsend made her pay for it. Now, in order for this to work out potentially, for the rollers. Dart has got to run the table here pretty much for them to have a chance to keep going. Yeah, that's a tall order because Taylor is known as the closer for World Team Tennis. And she's serving. Oh. Just missed that one. I think Dart wants that one looked at. Yeah, I think she didn't stick that one enough. I think she just missed it. Yeah, she just missed that. that, that that's a bummer. She thought <laughs> she'll be upset at that one. Just a little bit she, out. She had the whole court open. Oh. Yep. I don't know if you can stick a razor blade in between that. And there is the overhead smash we have seen plenty of the first two days. 
And it's a 30-love edge for Townsend and the Freedoms. Sails high and out of play. And now, Dart in big trouble. Yeah, triple match point. Feeling we're going to see a slice wide and a maybe an overhead again. Oh. 111. She went for the big one. Oh, well, we had the overhead. She just she just didn't hit it. Just on the line. Just clipped in. Wow. She's still alive. You, you hear the sports cliche game of inches applied to football a lot. That applies here, too, today. Yep. There you go, Taylor Townsend blasts through with that serve to win it for Philadelphia. 5-2, Taylor Townsend gets it done as Billie Jean King looks on and the Freedom celebrate once again, third win in a row. They claim it 21-16, we will take a quick break and when we come back, we'll have the recap from Hagen Arena. The Freedoms get the edge over the rollers. More in a moment. I want it. I can't believe it. That cop brought his karaoke machine. Nothing but a hard day. No, I can't believe how easy it was to save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with Geico. Love you, wife. I never want you to say. Go, Kevin. Go, Kevin. No, no. 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 Believe it, GEICO could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Watch me go. Because I won't come back the same. Sometimes I'll come back with scratches and scrapes. Or with stories of great shots and close shaves. Of wins for the history books. And of losses I'll never forget. But watch me smile. Say good game. And put my racket away for now, but not for good. Because I'll have seen what I can do. And I know greatness. Greatness, greatness is waiting. Sign up with Net Generation, official youth tennis of the USTA. Tennis has been brought to you by Geico, saving people money for over 75 years. By Rocket, game-changing phones with glasses-free 3D. And by Forevermark, a diamond is forever. 
Derek Jones and Alexandra Stevenson back with you at Hagen Arena on the campus of St. Joseph's University where the Philadelphia Freedoms have won once again for the third day in a row. And this one was a little bit tougher against Vegas. Yeah, Vegas gave it a good try. You know, they came out strong with the mixed doubles. Harriet Dot fought hard and then got broken and it kind of the air went out of her. But Taylor Townsend, once again, she's the closer for the Freedoms. They went through some adversity early today to start. They lose the mixed doubles contest 5-4 to four and then have to kind of battle back and rebuild it from there, and they were able to do it. Yeah, I think that was good for them because they had to play last night, and it was such a quick turnover. So, you know, it kind of woke them up. Like, oh, no, we better be on point here. So now they have a unique challenge because you have an early game today. You hit the road to take on Orlando tomorrow and then on Friday they come right back here to play Orlando again but this time at home. Yes um, luckily it's at night on Friday night. I think tomorrow they're at night as well so they'll probably leave today. They'll have all day tomorrow to get used to the conditions since it's outside and then it might favor them again because they've been playing here three nights and day in a row and they'll be back on their home turf and Orlando will have to adjust. Before we wrap it up, what stood out to you outside of Taylor Townsend here today for the Freedoms? Well, I think just for the Freedoms, they're a solid team. You know, with the addition of Donald Young, he had played with them before. So they all know each other. And in team sports, that matters. If you know each other, you gel well, you move well together, you're a team. And that matters in world team tennis. No question. And now as a result of the win, Philadelphia improves to 3-1 and one on the season. The Vegas Rollers drop now to one and three so philadelphia will be back in action on thursday and friday but friday next up at home that will just about do it for our coverage here from hagen arena for our entire crew and alexandra stevenson i'm Derek jones saying so long from st joseph's university where the philadelphia freedoms defeat the vegas rollers have a good day everybody